<laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Uh, Malcolm says, games should be ref by a person not from country or of either of the sides. Difficult to do that in this sport. Rugby union? Absolutely, Malcolm. Absolutely. But uh, you wouldn't want to be talking about that, Malcolm, because uh, I just want to throw this out there. The All Blacks versus Wallabies game, all three on-field referees were uh, from New Zealand. Just want to throw that out there. So I wouldn't be talking a great deal about that. Um, secondly, uh, a bit difficult in the NRL because obviously the NRL has 15 teams from Australia and one team from New Zealand and you've also got to play into part the pandemic right now. So yeah, look, of course they're going to be Australian. Um, I don't necessarily want you know, a referee from England, like why would you get an England referee coming, like it doesn't make sense in this sport. In rugby union, it makes sense because there is all these different different leagues, you know what I'm saying? Like there's all different teams from different countries. But in, in rugby league, man, there's literally 15 different NRL teams in Australia and one team in New Zealand. There is no bias here against New Zealand, mate. Sometimes you may think that Cowboys have been ripped off a great deal. Titans have been ripped off a great deal. Tigers have been ripped off a great deal. Parramatta over the years have been ripped off a great deal. We've actually seen Manly, a team that never usually, um, Manly that usually actually get advantageous calls, they got ripped off of a grand final. You haven't been ripped off in a grand final. You lost that 2011 grand final fair and square. So that's why I don't listen to the Warriors fans always saying that it's hard done by me. Because the Warriors organization, they are very similar to the Wallabies in the sense. The New Zealand Warriors and the Wallabies are very similar. You know, you can't have the same amount of funding and financial support going to the Warriors like you do the All Blacks. Just like we can't have the same amount of funding and financial support going to the Wallabies because we have the Rugby League. And that's why we're so good at Rugby League. And that's why you're so good at the All Blacks. That's why when it comes to rugby league, I don't get a lot of Kiwis talking shit to me. But when it comes to union, I get a lot of Kiwis talking shit to me because we can't be good, uh, better than we are right now because all our funding goes into a diversified amount of sports. We have NRL, we have AFL, we have all these other sports that are a, a similar-ish in the sense to rugby union, especially league. But AFL also comes into play as well. So you've got to remember that we funnel all uh, a majority of our money into AFL and NRL, and Union suffers because of that. And that's why we don't compete with the All Blacks on that serious level. In comparison, we look at league. That's why the Warriors don't usually compete, because one, their organization isn't really up to standards. They would have been good if Phil Gould had been able to come through, but unfortunately, Gus Gould couldn't do anything in this situation with the pandemic, right? Um, you know, you made, you've made you made a grand final in 2011. Fantastic. You didn't win it. Um, it's very tough to be a Warriors fan. I feel sorry for Warriors fans. I want to see the Warriors do well. I want to see New Zealand do well. But you've got to be, you've got to have a decent idea about where this team is at right now. You've got to have a decent idea about what this team is doing right now, and and, and understand that you can't expect uh, unbelievably crazy things from them uh, when they're they're trying to survive right now as a club, man. They're trying to survive as a club, and you and you can't really um, hold too much upset at the Warriors for how they performed this year. I tipped the bottom four for this reason. I literally said the Warriors would come bottom four. People called me crazy for this very reason that they don't have any home games. Unfortunately, they don't have the funding. They don't have the support. And players like Reese Walsh, he's originally from Australia, man. He's your best player right now. He's eventually going to go somewhere else. He's eventually going to come back to Australia. When New Zealand goes back to New Zealand, I can promise you right now, Reese Walsh will probably come back to Australia. And that's why you've heard those rumors about the Broncos. Now, last week before those rumors came out, I did tell you guys that the Broncos would come knocking again for him. They will come knocking, and I do believe that he's probably the team that he goes back to. But they'll probably be a couple of years away. But for the time being, the Warriors are based in Australia. So it's a lot easier for him to be around his family, be around his friends. He is not a Kiwi. He has no relation to there besides playing for the Warriors. And that's the problem as well. You need New Zealanders to come through the system for the Warriors to be successful. That's the problem with New Zealand. That's why All Blacks are so successful because they take all your good players. They take all the best players. I'm not saying all the good players, but look at this. Roger Tuivasa-Shek, Schwicheru. He's now at the Blues and potentially playing for the All Blacks if he makes it. I don't think he makes the All Blacks, but he definitely plays for the Blues. You know what I'm saying? So um, tough uh, situation for the Warriors, but it's just a bit of perspective. Um, Levi Hawkins says, come on, Warriors, now or never. Absolutely. Uh, and this isn't me having a go at the Warriors. This is me just bringing you into a bit more of an understanding about why this team, unfortunately, isn't as successful as they probably could be. It's just like the Wallabies. You know, they're just, Wallabies and Warriors are the exact same situation. Not exact, but similar. Sachin Kelson says, oh, that was unfortunate that Phil Gould left. He could have turned our club around, sort of. Yeah, but he couldn't do anything. Like, you can't do anything with the club right now. In regards to the Warriors, you can't do anything because they're currently stuck in Australia. And that's why I feel so bad for the Warriors because they're never going to improve, really, um, considering that they're all, they never get a home game. You, you never get a home game. Central Coast is not a home game for the Warriors. You know, you don't get home games when you're in Queensland for the Warriors. It doesn't matter where they are, unless they're at Mount Smart Stadium or unless they're in New Zealand at Wellington or wherever they play. I know they're Mount Smart mainly, but wherever they go to New Zealand, that is a home game. And they are very good at home. But they haven't had a home game in literally about two years now, since 2019. 
That's why they're unsuccessful, and they're not going to become successful until they can go home, and that's the hardest thing to watch with the Warriors. You know, so Levi Hawkins says his mum's a mouldy bro, so he's Kiwi. Uh, they all live in Australia, man. You can, okay, if you want to believe Reese Walsh is going to be a warrior for life, be my guest, my guy. Be, be my guest. Be my guest. Uh, Dustin Summers says next season, hopefully it will be different for them. Yeah, but see, the thing is, it's different for them if they get home games. If they get home games, people aren't going to be calling me crazy next year because now they see what I'm talking about. Wellington Phoenix capitulated and didn't do well. They kind of did well towards the end of the season, actually, but still didn't do shit in the A-League because they didn't have home games. And they had a couple of games at home later in the season, mind you. Warriors, they were meant to play last week against the Bulldogs in New Zealand because their first home game back in two years. It wasn't able to happen. If the Warriors get home games, I back them in for the eight. I back them in for the eight next year. I think the Warriors might be out next year. Do I think their team is fantastic? No, but I think the home crowd will get them over the line there. I think the passion from the home crowd, I think New Zealand Warriors will be a top eight team in 2022 if they get home games. But if they don't get home games, I'm backing them in for the bottom four. I'm sorry, but it's just it's just the truth. Or not bottom four, maybe bottom five, bottom six. I, they're not making the top eight though. They're not. That all relies on them getting home games for me. It does. Malcolm says, players and the Warriors want to be with their family. They're complaining. Absolutely, Malcolm. This is what I'm saying, man. This is, it's pretty obvious. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty self-explanatory. And this is why I said in my tipping video, and then I got a heap of Warriors fans hating on my video saying, oh man, you're just another Australian who hates the Warriors. Not the case at all. I actually enjoy watching the Warriors. The Warriors and Titans have a bit of a rivalry, but it's a friendly rivalry. A lot of Kiwis live on the Gold Coast. You know, every time Warriors play on the Gold Coast, we, we have, you're our bogey team. Titans always lose the Warriors. I appreciate the Warriors. Even though they're not good, they still beat us all the time because they're our bogey team, right? I would like to see New Zealand be successful so that we have more diversity in the competition in regards to not just the Storm and the Roosters winning every single year, right? That's why I would like to see the Panthers or the Rabbitohs win this year. Panthers haven't won in 18 years. So Panthers fans, if you're arrogant right now, just wait a couple of uh, wait about a month or a month and a half or a couple of years. And when you win the premiership, then you can be arrogant. But you haven't won a premiership in eighteen years, so please pipe it down. You know the Rabbitohs. They're they're a team that was absolute dog shit me growing up. When not, when I was growing up, the the Rabbitohs were coming last like every year. I remember until probably I don't know when in the two, late two thousands, but the Rabbitohs were dog shit, man. That was shocking. And now they're good, but they've only won one time in the last ten years. So winning for them would be fantastic. Even the Eels, man. As much as I talk shit about the Eels, like 35 years they haven't won, 35 years, it'd be good to see, um, I don't necessarily want to see the Storm or Roosters win it, but you know, it's still probably going to happen with the Storm, um, if it doesn't, then fine, uh, any other team, I'm happy with, and I respect the Storm and the Roosters, I respect them, it's not a hate, I don't hate, if they win, I respect it, you know, it's all about respect, I respect their grind, I respect their professional um, their professional teams, and I respect the, the way they go about their business, I know the Storm have cheated in the past, they have a really bad history, and they've actually built their founda foundations off of cheating, however, they're still getting the job done, we have to move on, it is what it is, and you move on, but they did build their foundations off of cheating, the Roosters on the other hand, we all know there's a bit of paper bags underneath, but they still run their club very professionally, so that's my thought process guys, so when you think that I'm talking shit, I'm not really talking shit, Simon Hughes says, no New Zealand sports team play off the season in any Australian sports league, no offence, Warriors fans are very delusional at times, Warriors fans are very delusional at times, I think they're delusional, they're not delusional man, I think they understand deep down, I really, I think they deep down understand, but they really desperately want to not believe it. So they want, they, they just want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Assassin's Creed says most shittest team in the NRL is Titans. Okay, man. If that's the best you've got, man, I get way better than that week in, week out. That is some dead banter, brother. Like, if you, like that's entry level shit. He even deleted his comment. Oh my God. Brother, if you're going to insult my team, at least keep your comment there. Holy shit. Like, my God, brother. Like, give me something good. Better than oh, the Titans are shit. Like how old are you? Are you what ten years old or something like that? Uh, Skeptic says you're not Kiwi. I'm not a Kiwi, mate. Um, obviously got the uh, my, my daughter's Fijian, uh, but I'm not. I'm not Kiwi. No. Uh, so Tyrion says I'm never going for Tigers. Shit team. Didn't you say the Tigers to make the top four? Trucking down under says I'm not a Warriors fan, but wish them all the best for the predicament the boys are in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Harry Jones says, sounds like you're a closet Warriors fan. Yeah, boy. <laughs> NRL versus Super Rugby. NRL wins 100. percent Kiwi fans have no idea. It's not that they don't have an idea. They just don't they just don't get what I'm trying to say because they don't want to get what I'm trying to say. You know, even with the Titans, if you tell me the Titans aren't gonna make the eight next year, I will listen to you. And I can understand where your talking point is. You have to have the perspective of being able to listen to other opinions. You know, I will bite back 
but I hear you, but I'm also able to respond in a way where I think that my team is going to be top eight next year because they probably will. Um, they're probably going to be top eight this year. No one wants to listen to that, but I think the Titans are beat by Knights. If the Titans get beat by Knights, fair play to the Knights. They made the eight, and then Sharks probably made the eight too. And also, if you do not subscribe, guys, your team will lose the next 20 years in a row. So it is a fact. I've put the hoodoo on your team, and uh, unfortunately, that's your loss. Ooh, close for four passes for the Broncos. So they'll get this ball out to the halfway line.